very important that you like reading. Uh, without reading, you can't become a writer. So first, you read a lot and a lot and a lot of books, and you learn from the writers, you read how to write a good story. And but uh, when I was 15 years, I started to exercise by uh, writing short stories. And then, after 11, 11 years of exercise, I published my first story in a, in, a, in a magazine. And that may be the best way to start. Not to try to publish a whole book, but to publish a short story in a magazine. And when you have written a lot of short stories in magazines, then maybe a publishing house will call you and uh, suggest that you make a book out of it. And that is what um, uh, was, was, what uh, occurred to me. So after writing 20 short stories in magazines, uh, I started to publish books. But these, these stories were for grown-ups. It's very difficult to write for children, I, I think. Uh, to me, it's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's, it's easier to write books for your own age. So I'm 71 years old now. So I publish books for 70 year, 71 year old people. No, that's not true. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote, for example, I wrote about Pollock. I started to write about Pollock when I was 16 years old. So that's possible. To be a very old man and still write for children. Um, have you ever written a fairy tale? Never. <laughs> Why? I, I think uh, reading, uh, writing fairy tales is very difficult. It's very difficult. I can't do it. Uh, Hans Christian Andersen, uh, to me, uh, I don't know, uh, but to me it was the last great fairy tale. Right? To me it's too, I, I think it's very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> to write a good fairy tale. Because in fairy tales, everything is possible, and when everything is possible, um, you lose a lot of tension, suspense. Okay. Uh, your books uh, that are written for children and young people uh, are read, can be read by everyone, and everyone, even adults, can find them uh, interesting and uh, very thoughtful. Uh, do you think about your readers who would read your book when you write, for example, book of everything? Did you think, uh, well, only young people will read it and it's not for all or something like that? No, as it, it, it has always has been my intention to write books for children that interest me too. So it's, it's, there are always books I hope uh, they will be interesting for children, but for their parents too. So that when they read them together, uh, not one of them is born. So, uh, as a teacher, I was a very short time, I was a teacher myself, like many teachers here, and uh, I, I, re I read out loud for children, of course, and I uh, uh, discovered that sometimes I, as a grown-up, was bored while reading. And then I thought, well, I want to read, and I want to write books that are interesting for grown-ups and our children alike. That's what's my, uh, my choice. Uh, I admire 